Hi friend, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. I am the Nickel City Mystic, and thank you so much for joining me today in this safe space. Today is going to be a continuation of a previous video where today we're going to be doing a Reiki session for clearing and healing the upper chakras or energy centers. So previously I have worked with you to clear the lower energy centers or if you're jumping in today, this is specifically geared toward the higher energy centers and that consists of the throat, the third eye, and the crown which is at the top of your head. So what we're going to be doing is taking some time to assess each energy center, determine what needs to be done, and then either do some clearing, do some Reiki work, and perhaps even a blend of that together. So I'm going to be using the same tools as last time in that I will be checking each one with a pendulum here. I have crystals set for each energy center. And I also have some other tools as well that we're going to use. It's a blustery day here, so you may hear some wind kind of creaking the house in the background. But let's get started today with lighting our intention candle. So the intention candle that I picked out is one that I really enjoyed. And it is... I don't know how to exactly describe it. It's a bit woody and has like a bit of like a marine undertone to it. But the reason I chose it is it's because it's this beautiful like teal blue color and I think it really coincides nicely with the upper energy centers or chakras. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to light this candle with my intention that we are bringing in healing energy. We are healing your upper energy centers. So please, as I light this, take a moment to think about your own intention of letting these areas represent your energy centers and any additional healing that you would like to bring in, think about that at this time. So I'm just going to grab my matches here. Hopefully all will go well. So, just going to pull one of my matches here and light it from the strike paper on the bottom. It is supposed to be very, very cold here tomorrow. So, there is some arctic wind that is blowing through and it's resulting in just creating a very windy environment. So every once in a while I can just kind of hear the wind pushing on the windows. Okay, so I have my match here. Just going to moment here to light my... so close. That's okay. Uh, always have a backup, right? I feel like these videos I've been having a really hard time to get these matches lit. Which is surprising because in the other ones they've been doing really well, but... Down here, so our intention candle is lit. 
So I'm just going to tuck it off to the side here. And what I would like you to do is just kind of begin to bring yourself into this session, into this moment. So whether it's morning or night or the afternoon, just consciously becoming more aware of the session and allowing yourself to be present in that session. So to do that, we are going to use our pranic breathing exercises. Okay. So to do that, let's start with just bringing your awareness to the belly. Okay. And as we're breathing, we are going to make a conscious effort to make sure that we are expanding our belly or moving our diaphragm. So breathe in through the nose like you're sniffing flowers. Hold for a second. And then gentle exhale through the mouth. Okay, again, inhale through the nose. Hold. And exhale through the mouth. And one more time, inhale through the nose. Hold. And exhale through the mouth. Very good. So you are more than welcome to, at this time, to return to a more natural breathing rhythm. But I do encourage you to keep breathing deeply and to try and take a few periodic moments throughout this session to assess, are you breathing the way that you need to be? Are you breathing in its entirety? Um, and just allowing that energy to flow with the breath. Okay. So I'm going to first do um, a couple drops of oil on my own hands, and that's to help with raising vibration. It's to help prevent me from taking energy from you and vice versa. So what I'm going to be using today is some frankincense oil. It's getting windier and windier here, I feel. We can just enjoy the session on a nice stormy winter day. And I'm just going to, like I said, just a couple drops, nothing too intense. Um, let's see, I'll tuck it over here for us. <sighs> There's a beautiful, just kind of like woody aroma to it. I'm just going to massage it into my hand, shocker points. So we're going to be doing a lot of energy work here. Okay. And what I'm going to do now is take an incense stick and I'm just going to use it to open sacred space and cleanse myself as well as you and the tools here. burn for a little bit. And let's begin by, like I said, opening sacred space. So opening sacred space, just kind of setting this perimeter, this barrier to just kind of allow the energy here to build, to be our own creating this safe and sacred space for us where we can work and you are welcome and always wanted here. And just filling that space first. Okay. I'm just going to bring this incense stick to you. Using this to clear away the energy of the day of the night, 
just allowing the smoke here to remove that energy. Smoke cleansing is very, very gentle. When it comes to energy removal, it's great for loosening energy. So when I'm going to do a session, I like to use smoke cleanse first to help kind of just get things loosened up and ready to be removed. Just going to cleanse myself here as well. And our tools here. The incense that I'm using today is, to be honest, I'm not 100% sure. I was just kind of rummaging through my incense drawer, trying to find a good smell for the upper chakras. And this is just a very light, almost like reminiscent of like a, a really gentle floral incense, but not over the top, you know? So I'm just going to move that over here a little bit, just trying to put it out. So I am going to let it burn over here. Um, it's right on the side. You might kind of see the smoke waft through. It's all good. No worries. It's in a um, shell here. So it is nice and safe. Okay. Let's begin now to just do a little tune in with your energy and figure out as a whole what we're working with. So feel free free to breathe here. We'll get to that in a moment. Okay, so I'm just going to draw my distance symbol, my runic distance symbol as well, connecting us between space and time. So wherever you are, whenever you are, this session is for you. It's always amazing when I do that, I immediately begin to feel heat coming through on this kind of setup that I have, this camera setup. And that usually tells me that we are connected at that point. What I'm going to do now is, before I really get into these tools, bring that back in a second, I'm going to just take a quick assessment of your energy centers. So it's probably not the clearest for you, but I have my cloth here with the energy centers. So the first one down here is your throat energy center, and that is light blue. The next one is your third eye energy center, and then you have your crown over here. So I'm just going to do a little check in here and determine what the energy is looking like, whether it's blocked, flowing, sometimes overflowing, and things like that. So let's check in with your throat energy center. The throat energy center is located, as you would imagine, in your throat, and it is the seat of your expression, your truth, and how you really connect with the world around you. In this moment, I really actually like the way that your throat energy center or chakra is looking. The energy is there. It does need, I think, a little guidance to help it um, spin in its proper way. So if I had to interpret that um, in terms of reading the energy, you know your truth, you know how you want to express yourself, but you might need a little guidance with bringing that forward. So we will definitely look into that. Let's look at your third eye. So the third eye is located in between your brows 
It is your seat of intuition. And it's very strong right now. Very, very strong. In fact, it's working really hard, so we might kind of try and soothe that a little bit. Okay, and then the last one that we're going to look at is your crown. That is your connection to the universe, whatever divine source or power you may connect with. That could even just mean connecting with your higher self. So let's take a look here. This one's looking nice as well. I'm actually quite pleased with this. I'm very pleased with that. So overall, things are looking really nice. What we're probably going to do is a little bit of maintenance work is what I would call that. So what that means is I'm still going to do some gentle minor clearing, and then we're just going to be bringing in some Reiki energy to continue to shape and encourage the energy pathways to function as they should, um, and we should be good to go from there. So that's fantastic. That's wonderful. So what I'm going to do is I am going to move my crystals off, and I'm going to really kind of fold this up so that only one is present at a given time, because I want you to be able to just focus on this energy. Okay, so this is your throat energy center, and it is this beautiful light blue color. The crystal that we're going to use today to enhance it is celestite. Celestite is great for communication, connecting with um, higher powers like your guides and things like that as well. Um, it's really, really nice to carry with you when you have meetings or you're trying to get a point across. And what I'm going to eventually do is use that to shape the energy and encourage it to flow in its natural rhythm and way. Before I do that, I'm going to be using my selenite wand here. And the selenite wand is just going to be used to do some gentle clearing and balancing, followed by some salt and brushing. Okay, so I'm just going to go back and forth here first, just to begin to work on smoothing out this energy for you. And I go back and forth just because I'm trying to focus solely on this energy center and first contain the energy. So if the energy is moving outwards or is bleeding into another energy center, for a lack of better term. It just kind of connects us here and now in this singular energy center. Okay. So now I'm going to focus really on your throat here. Just brushing it down here first. The brushing is really great for that gentle clearing and balancing, as I've said before. Okay. So now that we've cleared things with our wand, I'm going to also take my little salt bowl and just give it a quick clearing. So we're going to clear here. Salt is a wonderful tool for negating energy. And I like to use a brush to help pick up on those like 
sticky strands of energy. It's getting windier and windier. It's kind of cozy, actually. Knowing that you're safe and warm. Having a wonderful clearing session. Okay, so as I do this type of work, some people might feel a tickle in their throat. They might feel like a gentle like breeze or sometimes not like a strangle, but like a, almost like a kind of soft, almost like a tugging. And that's just a release of energy. Make sure that you keep breathing and exhaling as that does also help to release the energy. Okay. And now we are going to begin with some Reiki work. Just going to clear some things so I don't bump them. Okay, so let's check in with your throat here, right there, yep. So as I tune in with your throat energy, it is feeling to me nice and warm, so you are connected to your throat energy. I'm just going to bring that here for a second so I can kind of feel the shape. Um, yeah, it it's present and it's kind of in a circular shape could stand to be shaped a little bit more, so I am going to work on that right now. Shaping up that energy for you. Typically, we like to see a chakra or an energy center in a spherical shape. It's kind of just its natural way that it looks, way that it's meant to be. When it becomes oblong or when it becomes kind of flat, to me that tells me that the energy isn't moving at its kind of most optimal way. I'm just going to bring this for you here. So again, this is celestite. It's just kind of attuning and tuning your throat energy center to its proper vibration. Just coming to your throat. Let me do a quick check just to see how that's looking. Let's see your throat energy center. How is it looking? How is it moving? How is it spinning? Let's check in. Okay, so that's the spin is a little bit more shapely now, which I like to see. And actually the flow is even stronger. So we've kind of rubbed it up here, so that's great. Perfect. All right, so let's move on to the third eye. So the third eye is at your um, brow, in between your eyebrows usually is what we would say and it represents your intuition and your connection with being really in tune to yourself, okay? So I'm going to switch my cloth here so you can see that one. And the color for this is either like a deep blue, indigo, or um, some people even say a midnight blue. So this is more of like a indigo-y kind of color. And it looks like this. 
Now, what I'm going to do is get my crystal ready. So the crystal that accompanies this would be a piece of amethyst. Amethyst is very protective. It is great for psychic development, and we'll be using that to help attune and kind of connect vibrationally with this energy center. Now you may notice that I'm going to be coming to you, and I'm also going to be working here. The reason being is that this is a kind of proxy point for that specific energy center, but I can also kind of bring this energy to you as well. So it kind of works as like a double assessment tool. Okay. All right. Let's begin with our cleansings here. So I'm going to bring my tools back and I'll leave that. We'll start with our wand. So first I'm going to start on our proxy point to contain the energy. Going back and forth and back and forth. So as I move back and forth and back and forth, we're just containing and really allowing ourselves to focus only on this energy point. Okay, same thing for you. It's just on your brow area. Just allowing the focus to be here. Now, what I'm going to do is get my brush and my salt and just begin to clear any energy that doesn't belong. That can be energy that's picked up throughout the day. Believe it or not, we pick up energy from a multitude of things people, places, the situations that we're in. And sometimes those situations can be stimuli for the energy that we produce. So we're just going to clear it away. Gentle, gentle clearing here. Like I said before, if you feel any movement around your third eye, that's just the energy that doesn't need to be there leaving. Make sure that you're breathing throughout this process. Okay. What I am going to do now is use the amethyst to help kind of fine tune or third eye um, vibration. Okay. So I'm going to put it here first. And we're going to just take and make this a proxy point. So let's just take a look here and just kind of feel Your third eye feels pretty good. Shape is quite rounded, so I like that a lot. We're just going to do some maintenance work here, which means that really just kind of bringing our symbols in. Just tuning into that third eye area. Making sure that it's flowing clearly, unencumbered, 
no sticky energy. And then just really nicely with encouraging the flow. Okay, let's take a look. And let's just tune in with your third eye here. Yep. Still looking vibrant. Moving in a good formation as well. I like that. And last but not least, the crown. So the crown is either violet, it can be silver, white, or very light purple. It really depends on your personal preference. So, looks like this. Okay. And I like to use the crystal of just clear quartz for this energy center as it just kind of emanates that energy. It's just pure in that sense. So I'm going to start with our selenite one to contain and focus on this energy center. And then we'll go from there. So again, this energy center is located at the top of your head and it's your connection to source, divine, your higher self. Basically, what that means is that it just funnels in the energy around you and helps to kind of disperse it through your other energy centers. So if you feel out of sync with the universe or you feel like things just aren't flowing the way that you feel that they should, a lot of times that can require you to check in with your crown energy center or chakra. at the top of your head. Okay. Let's use our salt here to just Encourage clarity coming down from the top of your head. Just collecting any energy that is pulling you out of that universal flow. And that happens from time to time when you feel kind of like out of your groove or you know, things don't feel quite right. Okay. So as I said before, we're going to use our quartz point and we're just going to do some energy maintenance work. So first things first is I'm going to assess how this feels. It's present, I feel it, it's a little um, starting to flatten a little bit. So we're just going to shape it up a little bit and make it taller, for lack of better words. Okay. So we'll start here. 
I'm just going to bring that above your head. As always, you may be feeling this energy through the form of heat or actually, you know, coldness as well. You can feel just like a gentle tingle or tugging. Tugging? Tingle and tugging. Oh my gosh. Tingle and tugging together. Tugging. Tingles or tugging. And we're just kind of reshaping, encouraging that natural flow. Gently resetting. Bringing in this energy here to help shape. And then just pinching and pulling the energy upward. And let's check in here. So tuning in to the crown energy center for you here. Our work is not fully done yet. you to breathe in deeply through the nose here and exhale through the mouth one more time breathe in deep exhale through the mouth okay let's check in again Tuning in to your crown energy center. There we go, much better. Much better and stronger flow. Okay. I'm just gonna smooth out your aura here. And then bring our session to a close. I hope you enjoyed the session of clearing your upper energy centers. I know I was a little delayed after being sick, but I'm finally feeling back to my regular self. Our next video is going to be focused on the heart energy center or heart chakra. And we're going to be doing work to kind of pull the upper and the lowers together and connect them in the heart energy center. I have a feeling that one might be more of a table-based session, so stay tuned for that. And with that, stay safe, stay well, and until next time, bye.